I'm going to now talk about the last quarter of the financial year, which is normally January, February, March of any year. We are starting a new year. So I asked myself a question, what would I do if I have to really make great progress in the last quarter? Before that, the question is, why should I do that? There are many, many benefits of putting your best energy in the last quarter. First and foremost, your annual performance review will be done in April. So you still have a chance to make up at least one quarter is available for you to make up. Whatever you've done in the first three quarters, you try and make up. Second, bosses remember mostly what you did or did not do in the last quarter. Bosses have a very short memory. When your annual review comes in May or April, they're going to remember the last quarter the most. So now you have got a chance to be on best behavior, uh, put whatever you can do to work with the boss better. Right. So from boss standpoint, as well as your performance standpoint, the last quarter is very, very crucial. What can you do? Some portion of it is personal. First and foremost, in the last quarter, get out of all this social media for one quarter. Put it aside. You can be there whenever you want to be some other time. Right now, the last quarter is devoted to performance. You want to make sure that you get off on top of the list in your company. Even if you want to quit your job, if you do very well, your optimism, your confidence goes up and that confidence helps you to get a better job. So even in terms of job search, looking for the next job, the last quarter is very important because you leave on a high. People who leave on a high do very well in the next job. So let's go back and ask, what can I do to improve my performance? So first and foremost, start work early. I would say this is the time you should make a promise to yourself that I'll get to work early. Second, this is very important. Identify two or three people in your company who are in the same role who are doing extremely well. Our own study shows that the top performers do two things very well. First, they prioritize their time to do certain critical tasks very well. They don't do everything. They only do a few tasks. They typically 10 to 15% of the job, of, of the roles in that, or task in that role, 15 tasks are critical. They know what those critical tasks are. This is their one of their secrets of success. The second one, these critical tasks, they do it in a different way. They have seemed to have discovered some secrets of success. So what you will do is to identify these three or four people or talk to them on the phone, tell them you want to meet them, ask for time and to ask them for, to be their guide for three months. Ask them what are the things which they do on a daily basis? What time do they get up? What are the things they do in the morning? What are the things they do in the afternoon? Which are the tasks they prioritize? And then take your phone and record what they actually say they do. How do they execute this task? Please remember that the secret of success is not only knowing what to do, it's also about knowing how to do. And both these two, these top performers have cracked. It's like going to somebody who's cracked IAS. People normally listen to people who cracked IAS last year. These are the guys who cracked the job, your, your job right now in your company at this time. Now, who else can you go for advice then to them? So once you acquire the understanding of the top task or critical task and how to do it, make take out your diary and write down an action plan that I'm going to implement these ideas. Select five or six of them which you think you can implement. Patiently write down in the diary the date and time and repeat their activity. Whatever you are talking about, the activity of uh, how to do the job, at least five to 10 times. Because data shows that if you want to learn something new, a new way of doing things, acquire a new habit, you have to do some 10 times. So have that energy and commitment to try this new idea of how to execute that subtask or a particular critical task at least 10 times. So over the period of quarter, you suddenly realize the performance they improved. Why? Because you are doing exactly what your top performers are doing. So I think my advice will be this learning from the top performers on only these two tasks will make a big difference in your performance. Good luck.